Welcome folks, I would like to show you a tutorial on how to use uh, B-SPICE or CAD simulation to simulate the Thevenin equivalent example we just did. So to recall that this is the circuit we have did and we said that uh, we would like to find the Thevenin voltage and our Thevenin of this particular network. So we do that in two steps. The first step is to find VOC, which is the voltage across this network. And in the second step, you're gonna short circuit the terminal A to B and evaluate that short circuit current. Once you evaluate the short circuit current and you evaluate VOC, then basically you need to find R7, which is VOC over I short circuit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how you can simulate the circuit using ORCAD B-SPICE and the way we're going to do it in ORCAD B-SPICE is we will build this circuit in ORCAD B-SPICE and we will build this circuit in ORCAD uh, B-SPICE at the same time and then we will be able to measure VOC and I short circuit and from here we will be able to find our Thevenin. So let me show you how to do that. Now keep in mind that this particular circuit is basically pure DC or pure resistive circuit. So this is a resistive pure DC circuit. So we're gonna build that in ORCAD. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically load my uh, CIS capture. Uh, and by doing that, and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna create a new project. So we're gonna create a new project and I'm gonna call it Thevenin example. And make sure that you have selected or you will select the B Spice Analog Mixed AD. Don't select the schematics. The schematics will not do simulation. You need to do B Spice simulation. So select that option. Then I'm gonna click on OK. I will make sure that I create a blank project. I will also do OK here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the circuit twice. One circuit to be open circuit and the other circuit to be short circuit. And the circuit is not that hard to do. So I'm gonna click on a play smart option. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the DC voltage source. So I'm gonna write VDC. And I'm gonna double click here on VDC. And I will have the voltage source. And this voltage source should be 25 volts. And then I'm going to have two resistors, R1, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to make it a resistor, and I'm going to call it R1, and I will have another resistor here. The first resistor was 15 ohms, and, and now I'm going to come to the second resistor, and I will make the second resistor to be 10 ohms. And then I'm gonna add the DC current source. I will say I DC, and then I will select the DC current source. I will replace the DC current source here. Make sure that the current goes down, and this is going to be one amp. So this is the circuit I have. So I'm going to connect the line here, we'll go to here, and another line will come here. So, and then I need also the ground. So to make the circuit more realistic, I'm going to add a load resistance, and I'm going to make this load resistance to be very large value, like 10 meg. So I'm going to add another resistor to make it the load resistance and we're going to make this resistor to be very large. Now when you select a large value for this resistor it has to be large and relative, relative uh, it's going to be a large value relative to those values. So I can choose like 10 meg uh, resistor. Now keep in mind that meg is written as capital M small eg. That's the way uh, ORCAD will read meg. So I'm going to write 10 meg here. And this is going to be a 10 meg ohm resistor. And then I'm going to connect the rest over here. 
So this particular circuit basically will represent the open circuit voltage. The voltage across R3 is the open circuit voltage. Now I'm going to do the short circuit current for it. So I'm going to select the entire I'm going to select the entire circuit and then I can do control C stands for control copy or you can come to edit and you can select copy right so you can do control C which is copy and then I'm going to paste it which is using the button control V or you can basically go to edit and use paste which is uh, over here control V that is a base. So I already basted it here. So I'm going to short circuit that and to short circuit it, I'm going to basically make it short circuit like this. So now I have built the circuit very easily and very quickly. I'm going to create a simulation. So I'm going to call it sim1. That stands for simulation1. I'm going to create the simulation and I should have a window pops up over here so it's going to be a general setting i'm going to do it in the time domain but a small short time will do because this dc circuit is not going to change as a function of time it's going to be basically constant circuit as a function of time i'm going to basically say apply and then i'm going to measure the voltage across this resistor so i'm going to use the prop and add a voltage across this resistor that's basically the open circuit voltage and then I'm going to measure the current at this resistor that's basically the short circuit current that's going through the short circuit so and then once I do that I'll be able to divide this voltage to this current to give me the uh, 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 the value of the resistance so now let's run the simulation So we're running the simulation, shouldn't take long for the simulation to run. Here you go. So we can see that the voltage, the measured voltage, uh, 10 volts, and the major current is a little bit near the uh, 0.4 uh, amps. And now if I'm going to basically plot the uh, re uh, resistance, I'm going to come here and I'm going to double click on that. Uh, and I'm going to say that this basically going to be the open circuit voltage over the current. So I'm going to say that it's going to be V of R3 colon 2. That's the voltage across the load. And then I'm going to have divide by I4. So now I'm going to basically plot the uh, resistance. And the resistance should be 25 ohms like we did in the previous calculations. This is 24, this is 26, that's 25. So basically we validated that the resistance is going to be 25 and the open circuit voltage is 10 volts. So we did that using the simulation and now you can basically verify Thevenin theorem using the uh, B-SPICE ORCAD. To summarize how I did that, basically what I did is I made sure that the load is open circuit by adding a super large resistor that's basically like mimics a resistance equal to infinity. Now the reason you need to add this resistor here is that P-SPICE will not work if you have open circuit. It will have a netlist error. The description of the circuit says that there is open circuit here and it's not going to work. So to mimic an, an infinite resistance or open circuit, just add a large value resistance and the simulation will work as fine. So I measure the voltage here, which is the open circuit voltage. I short circuit the output in this circuit and I measure the short circuit current. And basically by dividing the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current, I was able to obtain the resistance value and the open circuit voltage is the Thevenin value. So we were able to simulate this uh, particular circuit, the seven equivalent of the circuit using B-SPICE ORCAD. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck to you.